welcome. And here we are in Fiery Sally, whatever it's called, and I'm in my uh, my LEFH artillery. I like to call it Lefer. Right, let's have a go and see if we can get somebody blind, shall we? Want fire. Oh, there's a miss, come on. There's normally somebody there crossing about now. Oh dear, I got a stuck. <laughs> Strike one to Puffy. I think I'm being too optimistic now to think I'm get another one. There's a Valentine. See if I can hit that. Nope. Bit difficult. Is anybody hiding behind him? Let's see if I can hit RT. No, alright, I've got to go and hide myself now. Make my map a little bit bigger so I can see it. Just don't want to get spotted by that type 34 at the top. Don't think I'm probably out of his view range now. If you ever get an opportunity to get this premium artillery, it's the only premium artillery, um, it is well worth it. It's not overpowered at all, it's just once you've got your crew trained up and a lot of perks, uh, you rarely miss. I'll show you just what I mean. Already two up, let's see what else I can hit. Oh, M7, I'm so sorry. A bit close round around the garden with him. Oh, PLC. My goodness, right. Oh, there's one there. There's an SU. Let's see what I can do. It's an H5B. And that's it. This will be a kill. Yep. Valentine. Oh, that's a kill. Wasn't sure where I was going to hit him then. It's always difficult when you... You lose sight of them halfway for a shot because your, your shots don't always go. Largo, oh, a little bit too far away for me. I'll leave that to the T40 and the SU. ELC, don't think. Ooh. Oh, 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 dear, dear me. Getting a bit too close to my team. Did you see that? <laughs> Aircraft went over me, or under me rather. Sometimes it's worth blind bombing because, you know, they, they may still be there, they may have just moved, you know, uh, a little way along, you might get some splash damage. Oh, there's an issue. Target him. There he goes, he's dead. So if you can just splash near them, sometimes if their armor's low, uh, you can actually get a kill out of it, although you're not actually hitting them, you're just blasting them. Let's try again. Oh, there he is, that's, uh, that grill's a little bit too far away from me, I won't hit him. There we go. So what are we on now? Five kills. Okay, so we are now just missing four of theirs. An M7, a Panzer 3J. Oh, we just lost one. An MA-1 and an A-20. A-20, sir, can be quite, quite fast, quite nimble, and can sneak up on you. You've got to be careful. Now, I'm going to move away from here because I don't know where he is. For all I know, he could be sneaking up the seven line and come over the top and kill me. So, I'm 
going to just going to move a bit closer. It also puts me more in range to the where I think their tanks are, which is there. One, A2, A3. Right, I'm going to move up because I need to get closer to the area so it's not in my firing range. I'm actually on the move. If I'm still, though I'm moving, I can still actually hit quite accurately. So you still may get some splash damage. Just put some in the trees just in case they're hiding in there. That'll help that stug out. I wonder if he's behind that. There he is. Boom. Bye bye. I mean, that was a steal. That was a steal. That's pretty naughty of me, actually, because he was only down to 1%. I suppose I should have left him for the stone, but I got six kills, so. Yabu sucks to you. years you see could be anywhere it's most likely to have sneaked back up onto the hill um, along the zero line and could easily have you know, come across the top uh, came in come into our base and killed me so best thing I can do is move closer to Matilda and the, and the T-40 at least and then I've got some sort of protection although as I said in my other video you know this this can take a good three hits uh, on the front, um, but it's at the side, it's very vulnerable. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Six kills, I'm happy. Catch you again.